for USB 2.0 you have four connectors there at the back, but for the USB 3.0 and above you have an extra five here. You see them? These are in front. And on the other side of the connectors, the five connect the five terminals will be at the back. So when I plug this cable in here, this cable becomes USB C to USB C like that. I do have the USB C to USB C, but just in case, in case you have a device or a storage device, especially hard drive or an SSD, actually, the SSD is useful for this. If you have it and you want it to be USB C to USB C, and this is the way. Here I have my Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, and I have this app that can do tests for SSD drives. And I will connect the shield, I will connect the Samsung T7 Shield SSD to the Xperia through this through this adapter. Let's see how it goes. So there is the light on the shield is on. And okay, I don't don't want to do that. Yeah, it shows me the USB, but I will eject it. I think I pressed something wrong when I when I connected to it. Always eject these things when you use them. So I plug it in again and open memory zone not opening i don't want to open memory zone yeah now i should see it so you see the samsung t7 shield 1.6 terabyte free okay i switched to the gesture navigation because of the iphone is uh, it's a long story i will make a video about it i guess it doesn't start doesn't show the option It's not recognizing it there, but actually I could I could copy the files from I guess I could try to copy some videos or something. Play a video. Or maybe a video and not a Okay. Like I did here, you have to type it again. So incorrect password for the Wi-Fi network, and I have to type it again. Okay, it's connected. I'll try to copy some files from the shield to the phone. Six giga, eight giga. Let's copy these two. Copy two internal storage. Um, just download temp in the temp folder, copy, and now it's copying 10 giga through the adapter. Seems to be not, not the fastest speed, so maybe I have to flip it. Okay, I'll try to Okay, I'll try to flip the connector, eject. And sometimes you have to turn the connector around like that. Connector. Okay, so now maybe the test will also work, the test up. Cancel the and open this test up. And Let's, I will try it again. I will try to start it again. Yeah, that doesn't show anything, but I will open the files again. So 6 and 8. The same like before and copy to internal storage download temp and copy. I don't know, the speed seems very similar, <laughs> almost the same. Uh, it's getting there, but it's kind of slow, so I'll cancel it. <laughs> I want to try it on the iPhone to see if it's connecting to the iPhone. So eject, okay. Okay, 
Okay, the light is still on. Now it's off, so I can unplug it.